can down. All right, well, one more second. No, put the can down. Okay. All right, all right, Joe, you sing the high part. Oh, you got it. Shoop do a shoop do a Come and meet the family. Talking about my brothers and me. We don't have a pedigree, but we're brothers. Brothers. We might follow different dreams. We might play on different teams. Where it counts behind the scenes, we're brothers. We might march to different drums. We might disagree. Don't you know when trouble comes, you can come to me. You're my family. Family. It could be that life may grow, and it will the wind may blow. Brother, ain't it good to know we're three? Life is full of stress and strife. You lose a lover and leave a wife. A brother's a brother for all your life. We'll be brothers. Well, have a nice day, Sam. I am off to the golf course. No, you're not. I'm not? Sorry, Joe. I'm afraid something's come up. What? Well, for starters, we have a meeting with the painter for the baby's room at 10, and the decorators do no later than noon. Then I figure we can stop by the antique guild and see if we can find an 18th century crib. Well, maybe I'll just play nine holes. <laughs> I don't see how, because at 3 o'clock, we should avoid rush hour and take the park road past the greenhouse and decide on a new plant scheme for the penthouse. OK, maybe I'll just hit a bucket of balls. Sorry, Joe. After the greenhouse, we have just enough time to come home, change, and make Lamaze class at 6. Then at 7.30, we have a homeowner's meeting, which should take us to 9, at which point we have dinner reservations at Chez Poubelle. Lose the hat. I'm not going to play golf today, am I? I'm sorry, Joe, but now that we're married, we both have to make sacrifices. I know, I know. It's just hard to break the old bachelor habits. You mean like throwing clothes on the floor, watching football, and wondering why you bought an answering machine in the first place? Yeah. Well, life has a point now, Joe. You got that right. So you don't mind doing all these things on my list? Well, maybe if we cancel just one appointment, we could find some way to fill the time. Well, I guess we could cancel the painter. Sam, anyone can paint a room. Great, you start tomorrow. <laughs> You ever notice how beer foam fades quicker in the middle than on the edge? No plans today, huh, Lou? Come on, Mike. Penny, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Hi, guys. Cliff, Mike's most important client wants him to go for a ride in his private jet. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Fun? I'm about to die, and Mr. Happy Face is talking fun. <laughs> Guys, help me out here. The lawyer I love is afraid to fly. I can't believe it. Really, Mike? You know that book, Fear of Flying? I was afraid to read it. <laughs> well, Mike, relax. Statistics show that flying's much safer than driving. On the other hand, you never had to parachute out of a taxi. <laughs> what? Well, I, I once sort of had to jump out of this plane. <laughs> While it was still in the air? Mike! Mike! That's Cliff! Things like that always happen to him. Mike! 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 One time, me and Flo had to fly to Chicago for the Crociola's family reunion. Every ten years, they get together and talk about who's dead. Believe me, it was the smoothest flight. You see? Of course, the return flight, that was a nightmare with all that lightning. Lightning. Uncle Lou! Lord, I don't want to die. Mike! Thanks, guys. It's nice to know that when I ask for so little, you give me even less. Kind of a jumpy fella, isn't he? Maybe he's just trying to see over the bar. Hi, guys. Hey, Joe. Well, just checking in. Gotta go. Hey, Joe, Joe, what's your hurry? What's my hurry? I've got a pregnant wife who needs a lot of attention, Lamaze classes to attend, a nursery to paint, and a lifestyle that's changing faster than I can keep up with. 
Joe, just let me say this. Marriage is like a brick. <laughs> How? It's hard. <laughs> Thanks, Lou. You know, I've been thinking I may even have to hire a manager for the restaurant. A manager? Looks like. Yo, Joe, uh, remember to hire someone that you believe in. You know, a real professional. Someone with years of experience in a place like this. Someone you can trust like family. Yeah. Cliff, let me ask you something. Yeah? You know anyone like that? <laughs> Joe, what about me? Huh. Gee, Cliff, uh, you're busy. I mean, between your culinary school and your many and varied outside interests. Hey, hey, Joe, Joe, that's what makes me such a great guy. I have no outside interests. <laughs> Cliff, you are too valuable in your current position. My current position? Joe, you could teach a monkey how to draw a beer. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, Joe, look, what is it? Am I not good enough? Ah, oh, face it, Cliff. Every six months, you want to be this or that, but you never stick with anything long enough to achieve it. I need someone who will commit to the job. Sorry, Cliff. Well, oh, I can't believe this. Do you believe it, Lou? Oh, sure. What? Cliff, it don't make you a bad person. It makes you just one without any direction. Every family's got one. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. You know, it's nice to know that I have my brothers beside me. It's nice to know that you believe in me. It's nice to know that I just amount to nothing in your eyes. <laughs>